today, but where does this rank in terms of your best performances of the season? Uh, yeah, you got me there. That's a good question. Probably the best. I think actually, I know we, we beat Man United 4 0 last year. I think we performed better today, overall. Um, and I know the dynamic in a game change when you get a 1 0 and, you know, us on another team. But I think the way we dominated the game throughout, uh, more or less, um, in terms of uh, shots and dangerous situations, uh, was very, very impressive. We are, we are playing against a more or less fully strength uh, Man United team. Um, I'm not, not an expert on that, uh, but from s s seeing what, what, I, what, what my knowledge of them are, um, we are playing without our entire back four. Our replacement left back in Enrique Long, our number six and captain, Christian Nagard, Kevin Schiade, um and uh, Brian Winning coming off the bench, which of course was, was very good. That just made it even more impressive, uh, I would say. And the way we, we, we yeah, dominated throughout the game was in, 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 in incredible. 31 shots. <laughs> 31 shots. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> now we're not winning that game, I don't know. Uh, probably just because we couldn't score. Um, and I was almost losing my fate to the big football guard uh, when they scored. Uh, how can that happen? <laughs> football are indeed brutal sometimes. Uh, and how can you explain that you lose a game, you're that dominant? Uh, uh, that there, That's in yeah, incredible. Then I would say another thing. It's clearly that we have been... In, in a spell where we've been struggling in terms to get enough results, draws or wins. And a lot of times I've been sitting in here and thinking, we've done a lot of things right, but for whatever reason, either make mistakes, of course, but also the margin is not dropping for us. And, 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 and been, we have lost too many games. Um, and when you do that with the player's mentality, it's difficult to come back. And when you are this dominant that you were today, and you then concede a late goal, and then have the ability to come back. I, I don't know how to explain that. It's just incredible with, with, with the mentality and the character from the players. Um, it shows everything about this group. And that's I've said it many times, that's why it's such a, a privilege to, um, to coach them. We can talk a lot about the 31 shots you've had, but as you've said, retire back four, you know, injuries have really played your defence. And in the past, this back three has looked a little bit shaky at times. But what can you say about their performance tonight and how they've played? Actually, I haven't thought about that before now uh, because, of course, I've tried to think a little bit about what to say when you're coming to you guys or the other interviews. Very good question. Um, because we fix Man United team, where before the game, I mean that they've been informed the front three. You know, Ganacho have been in times unplayable, Rashford's back on, on, on a good level, Hoylon has been very good, um, Fernandes um, creating so many chances. And the, and the back three, they, they were really good today. And it was only a, a half transition where it's still three 50-50 duels where the ball suddenly in the end dropped for them. Uh, so I think they, they really played a, a good game today. With Tony, um, you know, he didn't get his goal today, but that assist at the end, what does that show about his character? Because, you know, you, you miss those many chances and then the goal goes in. It's very easy to drop the level, but... He's worked after that ball and he set it on a plate for Ayer. Uh, yeah, that tells a lot about him to, to just keep staying in the game. There's always something uh, you can get out of it. And uh, the, the chance actually dropped for him. He, uh, me knowing Ivan, he will he will not sleep tonight uh, because he will blame himself that he didn't score and will be irritated. Uh, but hey, that happens. Uh, we all know it's the most important thing is you, you get on the end of the of the chances. Um, on any other day, he, he scored two, maybe more. Um, but to stay in the game and then the touch on the very difficult ball coming down, the composure to keep it, and then know that you actually reverse it a little bit back for a cutback is very clever. Thomas, you said that you, you don't know how your team haven't won that game tonight. Obviously, you mentioned the 31 shots. Sometimes, obviously, you can get into the dressing room after having that many shots and not want to get in. You might think, well, 
you know, we need to dark up our finishing. But was this sort of just a, maybe an unlucky freak result? You know, you hit the woodwork three or four times. You, you, you've got the Ivan Tony goal, excellent goal, just offside. You know, is there a sense in which that was pretty unlucky? Yeah, as I, I think I'm a big believer that unlucky or margins or whatever. So let's say Ivan where he hit the inside of the post. Um, what eight out of ten times he scored there? Uh, for whatever reason he didn't uh, tonight. So so that's that's the part of. Um, and then you say we, we talk a lot about oh this is a hundred percent chance when uh, the, we have a, a striker uh, one one with the keeper that was actually not a hundred percent chance there's something we created together coaches and uh, and, the, and the media world because if you do that you only score what three or four or six, no sorry six uh, something like that so it's a combination mainly I would say a little bit freak result in margins and a little bit unlucky and then of course we also need to look at ourselves as something we can do better always. Uh, with Jehol Jarmelek, uh, he came into the side tonight. The last time I saw him play, he looked a little bit lost. But tonight, I mean, he dominated the ball throughout. Just what sort of improvement have you seen from him tonight and in the training session? I've been very imp- impressed by Jehol uh, in many ways. I think he, he, I really like him as a, as a player. And he had that spell, I think, in the fall where he started at three or four games or something like that. And then... He got a little bit out of the team again, um, had a lot of substitution um, appearances and uh, started a few, I think, in the beginning of January. And then had a spell where he was just also in training, just mm, a little bit below his level. But now, as I think the last three or four weeks, trained very well. I think he came on against Burnley, did well, all against Arsenal, did well. Uh, I've been training very well, so I was actually not in doubt that he should start. Uh, and that's a big credit to him. Uh, uh, because I think Frank and Jäger quite have done quite well, so um, very, very pleased with his performance, and I, th- I think he, he he hopefully got a promising future here. Thank you. It's as you mentioned before, it's not the first time we've seen a really good performance go where you drop points. Um, and while there are so many positives that you can take, from this time we actually didn't drop points from winning position. From a oh, that, that's that's a, oh, imagine that. <laughs> oh, that would be unbelievable. Uh, but but how, yeah, how much it's up to? I, yeah, crazy but, but but you're right. Of course, as a performance, should have given, given us three points. Sure. Yeah. And there are obviously as many positives as you want to take from it. But when you look back on performances, I'm thinking about Tottenham City away. Is it something that's starting to play on your mind, frustrate you a little bit, that you're just not getting over the line here? Uh, yes, of course. Um, but I don't think any of us can explain why football is like this sometimes. Why some teams are more lucky in a season. Uh, and I think it's luck and margins if they constantly have a lower XG than the opponents and still get points or less shots or whatever. Uh, uh, because you definitely also prove you can't continue like that as a team uh, because over time then then it will boom, um, really show uh, your your true level and sometimes I'm thinking I'd, I'd rather want to be a, a lucky coach than, a, than an okay coach uh, uh, but um, but we can't always explain why we're not getting over the line uh, last year we had these 12, 12 games unbeaten where there was a lot of performance, but also something a little bit dropping our way. Uh, and then it's suddenly, oh, fantastic, we are on this run, we're doing everything fantastic. This time, we're probably not doing that much different. Um, we, it's just not dropping for us. Uh, but we, of course, need to look into... We, we, what I would say is that we have made more mistakes this season, uh, bigger mistakes defensively uh, than last season. Um, but as long as the foundation is there, we, we just need to keep going. Okay.